Welcome to Women of the Word. I'm excited to introduce a new series to you. I invite you to join me in a fresh look at the scriptures by slowing down, studying, and meditating on God's Word. In Hebraic thought, studying and meditating on God's Word is a form of worship. So we are going to be intentional and give time to His Word. The goal is not to see how fast we can read through the Bible. Our purpose here is to apply what we learn in, every, in our everyday lives so as to honor God. That's why this new series is called Living the Word. The Bible teaches us to be transformational in our thinking and to be conformed to the image of Jesus by acting as he would as we go through life. Our behavior reveals what we truly believe. Let me say that again. Our behavior reveals what we truly believe. I remember times in my own life when I said I believed certain things, biblical things, but I sure wasn't acting like what I said. Transformation was needed. We cannot say one thing and do another because that is hypocritical. In order for our faith to be authentic and not fake news, we must walk out what the Bible teaches and not just talk it. This can be very challenging at times, but the Holy Spirit is there to help us and God is always with us. And he's always willing to forgive us when we repent and turn to him. Thanks be to God. Authentic believers draw others to the Lord as they read our lives and see a living faith. You may be the only Bible that your friends, your coworkers, and your acquaintances will ever read. I want to show others what Jesus is like, don't you? We are going to begin with the book of James. It's only five chapters and can be read in under 20 minutes but I'd like us to really chew on what is taught in James and meditate on it. So we are going to take it slowly. We will review one chapter a week beginning on September the 1st. Videos will be posted weekly on Tuesdays reviewing that week's chapter. Here's a quick overview of the book of James. James was a half brother to Jesus and a leader of the church in Jerusalem after the Lord's ascension. He was apparently an unbeliever during Jesus's earthly ministry and came to faith after Jesus's resurrection. The first century historian Josephus indicates that Jesus, excuse me, that James was stoned to death in AD 62. The book of James directs us towards godly living it was written to Jewish believers in the dispersion. That means Jewish people living outside of the land of Israel. They faced many of the same problems that we face today. They faced having to assimilate into a Gentile or non-believing culture. They were embarrassed to be known as believers and were lax in their behaviors. It really does sound a lot like today, doesn't it? And that's what makes the book of James very relevant in our day. They were living in the world and they were being influenced by the world more than by the Word of God. And that's very true in our culture today as well. It's really important that Christians live out the Word of God and not be conformed to the culture, but rather be conformed to the Word of God. James includes a number of Jesus' teaching from the Sermon on the Mount. The book is primarily practical and ethical, emphasizing behavior rather than doctrine. In its 108 verses, 54 clear commands are given. The emphasis is on personal growth as believers in Jesus. It teaches us how to walk the walk, not just talk the talk. We are to be doers of the word and not just hearers of it. Sometimes we give mental assent to things, but what we really need is to seek transformation 
of our behavior. I invite you to read through the Sermon on the Mount in Matthew 5, 6, and 7, and the, and the five chapters in the book of James before we begin. If you're catching this video later, that's okay. Just jump right on in. You'll catch up really fast. Take some time to study and meditate on chapter one. Perhaps go back to the Sermon of the Mount as the Holy Spirit leads you because James refers to many teachings of the Sermon on the Mount in his book. On September 1st, I will post a video review of chapter one on the Living in the Word page of our website, godconferences.com. Subsequent chapters will be discussed on video postings every Tuesday in the month of September. You can ask questions or share comments on our Facebook page or send us an email. This study is not meant to be exhaustive by any means. Its purpose is really to give us personal application strategies for daily godly living. You can read any version of the Bible that you like. If you're new to Bible reading, I recommend an easy to read English version like the New Living Translation. If you have been reading the Bible for many years, maybe even for decades, then I invite you to read it in a version you're not familiar with. Online sites like BibleGateway.com and BibleHub.com are places you can find dozens of Bible versions as well as study tools and resources. Reading various versions often helps us to see things we may not have seen on previous readings. Remember, the Word of God is living and active, multifaceted and multidimensional. The Holy Spirit will breathe on it and speak to you through it. So let's approach the book of James expecting the Holy Spirit to reveal fresh things to us and feed us with fresh manna from heaven. As you study, I also invite you to ask three questions beginning with the word what about the portion of scripture you are reading. Number one, what does it show me about God? Number two, what does it show me about mankind and about myself? Number three, what do I need to change in my life in order to obey God's word and become more like Jesus? I am very excited to do this study with you and I expect to learn and apply new things in my own life. I am praying for this time to be very rich for us. Let's learn and change together. Remember, the first video will be posted September the 1st. Now please join me in a word of prayer. Father, we come before you and we thank you for your word. We thank you that you have spoken through your prophets and your messengers to lead us and guide us. Your word is truly a lamp unto our feet. Father, we ask for the Holy Spirit to breathe on your word and bring us fresh revelation so that we may be more conformed to the image of Jesus and show him to others. We thank you, Lord God, that you're always with us and that you will lead us and guide us during this time. We give this time to you, Lord, with expectant hearts, with open hearts. May our ears hear what you would speak to us and may our hearts understand, perceive, and have a willingness to obey. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen and God bless you.